Hey there, guys. So uh, today we have actually uh, more of an update than actually a review, actually not a review at all. And so this is an update about a recent trip to Vermont. So uh, this is a bunch of beers that I will be reviewing. Um, this is uh, Foley Brothers Fair Maiden, which I believe is actually one of the best double IPAs produced in Vermont. Actually, I think it actually beats Hedy Topper. I did a previously side by side with that. So awesome beer. I will be reviewing this. Obviously, we'll be doing Hedy Topper again. Um, got some of this and also got a new beer uh, this is even more Jesus bourbon barrel age you might know double barrel Jesus and this is simply bourbon barrel age Jesus um, just came out and even more Jesus one of my favorite imperial stouts so really excited to review this for you guys uh, also went to Hill Farmstead so we have Susan uh, my favorite IPA of all time so uh, excited to have this again and I probably will shoot a video again I'm always excited uh, not always excited but Always interested in uh, seeing how my palate changes and how I like a beer from previously and how, what I think about it later. So, you know, not, not that always my opinion changes, but maybe my notes, my tasting notes might change. So this is Susan, um, Hill Farm said, excited. Uh, this is Nordic, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Nordic Saison. So this is a honey Nordic inspired ale from uh, Hill Farmstead. Um, never had this before, never reviewed it before. So I'll be bringing you these, uh, this guy. And also I have Society and Solitude number six. I've uh, previously reviewed this. Is a, this is a mosaic double IPA. I actually did have tastings at the brewery, uh, as you can at Hill Farm said, I like you know, this kind of glass of tasting. And I did have double Citra. Double Citra is actually one of the highest uh, review, uh, rated beers. I, I, I think it's like, Un, like top 30 yeah top 30 highest beers uh in the world on beer advocate and unfortunately i did not get any growler fills because i did get a tasting of this did get a tasting of this and i was re-reminded or reminded again of how good this beer is and double citrus just didn't exactly hit it for me on the back it's a, an amazing aromatic uh, double ipa great flavors but for some reason on that you know back third of the palate so just sort of didn't hit it for me uh, beers like Double Sunshine or King, uh, Top and Goliath's King Sue or some other crazy beers, even Abner, which does not have Citra in it. Some of those double IPAs just sort of hit home for me better. And so that's why, uh, including this beer, and so that's why I uh, got growler fills of this beer instead of Double Citra. Uh, you know, maybe regrettably, I could have probably got a Double Citra to review for you guys, um, but you know. This is what you guys are getting, sorry. Uh, I, I will be reviewing this for you guys. And so, uh, talking about Hill Farmstead, shout out to Kevin. Uh, thanks a lot for walking up to me. Um, actually had a, a, a viewer who walked up to me and you know introduced, uh, sorry, introduced himself. And I'm absolutely flattered by people that recognize me um, <laughs> you know, in public. And uh, it, you know, sorry, by the way, if I didn't end up talking to you for uh, you know, you know, more, um, just long drive, long, long drive. I was absolutely exhausted. Um, I, I, was, I was with friends and I just didn't have the conscience to go like, hey man, I, this is a fan. I really should talk to him. And I, and I do have that onus on me for something. You know, I personally do ha have that in my mind that I really should uh, chat with people that I meet sometimes. Um, just, you know, just sorry about that. So um, if anyone sees me in public, please say hi. Shout out to Mark. I've, I've met him in person and some other viewers. And, um, you know, please post comments below. Kevin or anyone or Mark, whoever, please post comments below. I'm always happy to answer questions or interact with you. And, you know, if you have anything to say, um, people who uh, shout out uh, to speak to me on Beer Advocate, you know, who send messages, I'm always happy to receive those. It's, it's always just flattering. And uh, it's so awesome to hear from people. And that's so cool. And um, so, yeah, so I have a bunch of beer to review for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, about the logistics about going to Vermont. There's a bunch of, you know, you know how, how to get Eddie Topper and what restaurants to go to and all that kind of stuff. Um, please post in the comments. I, I thought I'd spare you guys a little bit of time and not, you know, put that in the whole spiel in the video. But um, yeah, let me know if you're going to Vermont. I have a lot of stuff to say about that and uh, I'll reply or maybe I'll shoot another video if there's actually high demand for it. So until next time, guys, cheers, later.